In this slide, I want to start to address the blind spots of the break-even chart that I discussed in the last clip. Um, what the break-even chart does not see is basically the law of diminishing and eventually negative returns. In other words, the more we do, the more money we actually lose. Obviously, when we start first start a business, uh, most people think in terms of like it's like going after fruit on a tree. Let's go after the really low hanging fruit. We don't go after the wormy ones on the ground. We don't go to the wormy little yeah, green ones way up in the tree that, you know, we're going to break limbs off to get to, etc. We just go sell the, the biggest customer who's closest to us right next door is buying our number one best selling, you know, vanilla ice cream kind of product. Well, then we say, well, let's keep growing. So we have to start driving further and further and further and from Center City out to the, you know, Westburg and, and the accounts start to get smaller because the territory, the areas are smaller out there. But the cost for, for the rep call continues to go up because they got to drive more and more time to make one call. Um, so you start to think, well, is there an alternative service model? Like maybe we could sell, like send them a catalog or they could, we could telemarket them. Uh, the delivery costs start to climb as the, as the margin dollar per stop starts to drop. We can't give the same response time. We're doing more miles per stop, those type of things. When we look at the paper cost involved in stopping a truck, sign here, um, then, you know, do a three-way match of, of billing, a purchase order, uh, delivery paperwork, and invoice, and then write a check and send it to us, and we do the three-way match and so forth. This, we have to do this because our accountants want us to be secure. We don't want people to steal stuff. We have to do it to provide trade credit. And so maybe this is a total cost of $40 on both sides of the fence. 44 plus 40 is 80. But what if there's only $10 of margin in the order? You know, and, and so what we find is, is the margin dollar per order drops and the fixed pay cost of the paperwork activity continues to be constant. At some point, we start to lose money just on paperwork costs. Same thing happens with uh, return on us on investment of micro niche products. There's a certain amount of time and energy to go find a supplier and stock the supplier and teach people how to sell the stuff. But it, then if we, for all the time and energy of sort of rolling a product out and going to tell the story, fewer and fewer customers are buying less and less and less, uh, we're going to get uh, a much lower return and even a negative return. We don't get enough margin to cover the cost of rolling the product out. And you can see this by just looking at all the items in your warehouse. Um, and uh, realizing that you have ones out there that have been collecting dust for two, three, four, five, six years, and, and clearly they're losers. Um, another area of, of diminished returns is as we start to stock smaller and smaller items, um, maybe the margin percent is bigger, 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 but you know, 80% margin on a $1 item is 80 cents of margin. If it costs us three, four, five, ten, fifteen dollars to pick it in the warehouse, we're losing it every pick. And it's interesting to go look at the bottom of ranking reports at all the stock keeping units or go look at all the tiny little customers that the company sells on an annual cycle basis and say, who are these people? And a lot of times executives and salespeople, they don't even know. But if you go talk to the, the accounts receivable people, et cetera, you know, you start to hear some stories. So we kind of accumulate, if you will, uh, profit drains that just are quietly kind of leaching a little bit of, uh, of, of profit energy out of us. Uh, maybe kind of like uh, junk in the attic or the garage. And at some point, we need to sort of clean these out. So let's continue on with the next slide, looking at even more blind spots that the break-even chart does not see. Thank you.